Welcome everybody. I'm Sal Masekela. This is a fire, and this is Maddie Mastro, defending champion <laughs> of the Burton U.S. Open of Snowboarding Championships. When I say defending champion, what does that feel like to you? Oh, pretty cool. Pretty exciting. I mean, it comes with a little bit of pressure, but I try my best not to think about that bit. Just make sure it sounds cool. But it's there, because like your life is pretty different now compared to where you came into this event last year. Yeah, big difference. It was my first contest win ever. 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 So So just start at the top. Yeah, to win this one. This is the one like everyone dreams of and works for. So it to be my first one was like pretty surreal. And then this season and coming into the US Open, it's been kind of a completely different experience. I feel like a little a little more like, yeah, I've been there. We've done that. Mm. Let's do it again. I like that. I like that energy being like, okay, it's new, but I'm, I'm going to make myself as familiar with it as possible. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with this contest. Um, normally, I like coming to these big contests, and I, I'm a little nervous because they are big contests, and I do feel like, oh my God, this is, this is it. This is so big. So it's nice to be a little more relaxed and comfortable. Well, that's interesting that you say that, relaxed and comfortable, because Judging from your performance last year, you looked relaxed and comfortable against the greatest in the world at the biggest event in all of snowboarding. So I want to know, what was your mindset, think back, coming into the U.S. Open, the Burton U.S. Open last year? Um, for me, and I say it every U.S. Open, and I'll say it a thousand times more, every time I come to the U.S. Open, I'm just, I'm all about having fun. And that's where I perform my best is when I'm having fun. So. Last year I was having fun, and I was landing tricks and enjoying myself, and it, I performed the best I could. What is it about this event, as opposed to all the other stops in the season, where even though it is huge, you're able to come into it with a little bit more of a fun mindset? Um, it's the last contest of the season. It's completely rider focused, which is amazing. We don't really get a solely snowboard rider focused event all season except for this one so that's one of probably my favorite part it's just us snowboarders no one else just me and my friends and we're just snowboarding so that's what sets it apart from all these other contests and makes it way more fun and easier to enjoy yourself i think at least mm. um you enjoyed yourself a lot last year I did. you did a, an mbd a never been done <laughs> double crippler in competition um at, at the US Open of all places. What was your relationship with that trick in the half pipe before coming to the Open? So I, I dreamed of it for quite some time and then I kind of put it into motion and started and learned it essentially in 2018 in the springtime though. So I learned it in the springtime. I did it a few more times throughout that fall but then come 18-19 season, which is where I won in 2019, I hadn't done it at any contest or at all in any practice. So, so how long had it been before you threw it here since you'd done it? The last time I probably did it was October, and then I did it in March, right? So, so yeah, that's... That's a winter. Seven, seven, eight months. That was a long time, and then it was just kind of all the puzzle pieces fell into the perfect puzzle and uh, we're like yeah let's let's do it so did you know at the top of the run I'm, I'm throwing this thing I'm gonna chuck it um yeah at the top of the run I didn't know at any other point of the contest that I wanted to do the double like I obviously had it I wanted to do it but I didn't know that I was actually going to do it until I was 10 minutes before I was about to drop in and we're like why don't you do the double like and I just was like yeah Let's do it. Like, I am so down. And the rest is, yeah, I landed it. When, when, <laughs> do, you, do you remember it all? I'm sure it must have like, been such a blur. But do you remember, like, okay, I'm heading into the wall. I'm doing this thing that I just decided to do, like, 10 minutes ago. I'm, well, 10 minutes ago, I sat there, and I closed my eyes, and I laid on the ground, and I visualized it. And I was like, Yes, like I can see it. I can see it start from finish. Like I can feel it. I can see it, and I was good to go. And then what was going through my head the whole entire down, way down the pipe was just the saying that my coach said to me was just make it 
to the last hit, stay on your feet. And that was just playing in my head was like, just stay on your feet, stay on your feet, like make it to the last hit. That was the only thing I could think of, which was probably for the best, because then I wasn't like manifesting or over-focusing on this one big trick. And I was focused on everything and giving each trick attention and making sure I was landing. Right. So by the time you got there... I was good to go. You're like, all right, cool. I've already seen it. Yeah. I've already seen it. I have the feeling. Now I'm just going to live that thing I already saw and felt. Yeah, and then just put it into motion, which was incredible. That moment ended up being massive in that, like I said before, never been done, but also like just set you apart from the rest of the field. And you win the Burton U.S. Open of snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> How has that influenced your life in um, the last year? I mean, it's been a huge thing. I've noticed that it's pushed me and inspired me to be like, wow, I can do this. Like, the double is something I can do and I want to continue to do. And I've made that kind of not necessarily a priority in my life, but yeah, a priority of like, this is just another bag, trick in my bag. Like, I'm going to continue to do this and make it a norm for me. And I think that was doing it at the US Open really pushed me to make it just a normal trick for myself, which now it is, I can say, which I'm pretty happy with. You're in that that space now amongst some of the greatest to ever do it. You know, your name is is up there with Terry Hawkinson and Sean White yeah. and, and and Jamie Anderson and Kelly Clark and so many others who have who have won this event, which is the biggest event in snowboarding. And when you win an event like this, especially for where you were at in your career, your whole career changes. People see you differently. Yeah, I definitely think there's been more recognition and just I've been noticed more and people know who I am, which is super cool. And they like my snowboarding and they are inspired by my snowboarding, which is an incredible feeling because at the end of the day, that's what we're really trying to do is inspire other people. Like, I want to get the next generation out there, the young girls, and to see the young girls watching me and then to go watch and see, like, notice that 10 girls are all doing cripplers at spring camp. I'm like, whoa, like, we weren't doing this last year. Like, oh gosh, I've kind of started something, which was a really cool feeling to have of like, wow, I've gotten these girls of being like, yeah, we can do doubles. Let's do the first step. Let's learn singles. So that was really cool. I remember that moment. I was like, wow, that's cool. That was that's this really summer, cool. this past yeah, summer. Yeah, this past spring. I was like, watched like, I don't know. I felt like every little girl there was doing a crippler and I was in my head like, wow, I, like, why, why are they doing this? And James, my coach is like, you know why, like, this is like, cause you did it and you showed them that it was possible, which is super exciting. Cause it is possible. I think girls can be doing the same and as the guys. And that means doubles. That's awesome. You're a part of what many are considering. Uh, look, I've, I've been in the snowboarding industry for a few decades now. This is the most progressive, time in women's snowboarding. You're pushing each other and progressing at a rate that the sport's never seen before. What's it like to be in that? And what's it like to, you know, in the way that you're interacting with, with each other, knowing like, hey, we're, this is our time. It's exciting. I mean, it goes all the way across from slope to half pipe of seeing this progression. And I think, yeah, we're at the end of the day, we're all competitors, but we're also all trying to better our sport, which is where this progression is coming from. And it's super exciting for me to be a part of. It's something I've watched the Kelly Clarks, the Tora Brights before me, inspire me to do this. And then to finally have in motion and action of that is pretty cool. Lastly, now you're that person who didn't quietly enter the final like last year. Now you you have that target. I know that's pretty crazy. I was, that's a I've never really like I've always been up there. I've always been one of those people you like watch and a name to like be on the look for, but it's exciting to be like defending champ. It's super exciting and I hope to have many more of those. Yeah. <laughs> Any predictions for the final? I don't if, I don't know. Not we're not that's too far ahead. We're not going there tomorrow. Like, we're just I like your mindset. We're gonna work on what we're gonna have for dinner tonight and then what we're gonna do in practice. Dinner again. It's, it's one moment at a time, yeah. One step at a time, yeah. process. I try I not to let myself get ahead of I respect that. Yeah. Maddie, thank you for coming and sitting by this this fire. Of course, thank and, you for having um, me.
telling us about your last year. It's, it's been exciting to watch from the outside, and we're looking forward to what you have to give moving forward. Me too. Thank you for having me. Good luck. Thank you. Maddie Mastro, everybody.